Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome to the online class for English grammar. My dear students of grade 6. I hope you all will be fine. Today we are going to study our two lessons about tenses. The first lesson will cover the topic of main and helping verbs, while in the second lesson we will talk about perfect tenses and progressive forms. First of all, we should be clear about the basic difference between main verb and helping verb. A main verb shows the main action or state of being in a sentence. A helping verb helps the main verb show tense. Helping verbs include forms of be, do, and have, as well as will, can, may, should, and must. Now here is a brief description of verb phrase. My dear students, a verb phrase consists of a main verb and one or more helping verbs. On page number 61, we have 10 sentences. After reading each and every sentence, we are going to find out verb phrase in every sentence. Let's start the exercise. Number 1. The northern states have suffered all drought. In this sentence, the verb phrase is have suffered. Number 2. The weather has been hot and dry for weeks. And here the verb phrase is has been. Number 3. The farmers have hoped for rain. Here the verb phrase is have hoped. Have is a helping verb. Hoped is an action verb. A very good combination of helping verb and the main action verb will result into a verb phrase. Number 4. A good rain should save the dry crops. Here the verb phrase is should save. Number 5. The harvest season is approaching. The verb phrase is is approaching. The word is will be used as a helping verb while approaching is the main action verb. The weather may turn cooler next month. May turn is the verb phrase. We have planned a hayride for October. Have planned. This is the verb phrase for number seven. Number eight. The autumn leaves will change colors. Will change is the verb phrase for number eight. Number nine. In winter, the temperature will drop even more. Will drop is the answer for number nine sentence. And the last sentence. We can expect snow in January. The verb phrase is can expect on page number 62 we have a topic of perfect tenses and progressive forms perfect tenses use a form of have followed by a past participle which is usually the ed form of the verb present perfect tells about an action that occurred at an indefinite time in the past Past perfect tells about an action that occurred before another event in the past. Future perfect adds the helping verb will and tells about an action that will start and finish in the future. Progressive forms use a form of be followed by a present participle which is the ing form of the verb. Present progressive tells about an action that is happening now. Past progressive tells about an action that took place while another action was occurring. Future progressive adds the helping verb will and tells about an action that will occur while another happens. On page number 62, we have 10 phrases, rather 10 verb phrases. We are going to find out their respective tenses. Number one verb phrases will be studying and it belongs to future progressive tense P R O G R E S S I V E. Number two, am cooking. This verb phrase will be included in the tense of present progressive. Number three, have talked. This verb phrase will be included in the category of present perfect. Number four, will have arrived. This verb phrase will be included in the 
category of future perfect tense P E R F E C T. Number five was talking. Whenever there is a participle verb, it means the tense belongs to progressive format. Now was talking definitely now the tense will be past progressive. Number six had remained. We use the helping verb had only in the tense of past perfect. Past perfect. Remained is the participle verb. Past participle verb. Number seven, am sleeping. This verb phrase will be included in the tense of present progressive. Number eight, have started. For the tense of present perfect, we use helping verbs has or have along with the present, sorry, along with the past participle verb. Present perfect tense will have this verb phrase have started. Number nine will be leaving. This verb phrase will be included in the category of future progressive. And the last one was talking. This will go to the tense of past progressive. My dear students, so far we have concluded our exercises about progressive and perfect tenses. And also we discussed what is the basic definition of verb phrase. I hope you will have written the correct answers. See you next time with a new lesson. Till then, bye bye. Stay home, stay safe.